Well, I'm an artist and an interior designer and a writer, and I'm from here in Chicago, and I've lived here my whole life. Color is definitely <laughs> one of my favorite things in interior design, as you can see from this face. Um, it's funny, I didn't really realize I had an eye for color until I was working at Nordstrom and I was in the accessories department and helping people match different accessories to their outfits. You know, that really got me thinking like maybe I should go back to school and you know, I decided to go back for interior design. Um, I had studied fine art before that, I had studied painting, but I had never really studied like the practical side, you know, which is design. The doll project is digital photography and I'm using fashion dolls, um, primarily Barbies, to embody the negative messages the media gives women about what they should look like. I have vintage stuff from the late 60s and from the late 80s that I'm using in addition to things from the present day. And I'm hoping to put together a book with all the pictures I've been taking next year. I definitely enjoy being able to put together a little interior rooms and stuff for the doll project to be set up in. So I could have like different styles of architecture and you know more places to put my little miniature furniture. So <laughs> that's how it, yeah, that's kind of where it came from. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have like a collection of modern doll houses at my studio. It takes up less space. It costs a you know, fraction of the cost of the real thing, but you can have that Herman Miller, that Noel, that Vitra look, <laughs> you know, but in the palm of your hand, as opposed to, you know, spending thousands of dollars on a really cool chair. I paint here, I draw here, I do computer stuff here, and then I also, right now I'm working on ornaments um, for the holidays. They're all made with recycled materials, so I'm just using like catalogs and magazines and anything that's got like an interesting color, texture, you know, um, on the paper, you know, cutting that up and, you know, putting those together because it complements my artwork because my paintings are all made with recycled materials too. And I call my style post-consumerism, so I use a lot of just anything that's recyclable that has an interesting texture that, you know, I can work with and put paint on, I use that in my work. Mm -hmm.